today I'm gonna show you how to make an SFX wound like this using Elmer's glue. But before we start, if you are a fan of SFX makeup, gore, or horror, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are going to start off by tearing up some tissue paper into thin strands. Try to get the strips thin. When you have the strands you need, get your Elmer's glue out, lay down a thin layer of Elmer's glue onto your skin. Elmer's glue is latex free and works just like SFX liquid latex, perfect for Halloween. Now lay down some strands of tissue paper. Add a couple layers and try to avoid creases. After the combination of Elmer's glue and tissue paper is down, sculpt out the wound on your hand. Add rough edges to make the fake SFX wound look more gruesome. Get the look you want out of the SFX Elmer's glue, then let it dry. Once it is done, add foundation to the Elmer's glue fake SFX wound and blend it into your skin. Cover all the edges and tissue paper. After that is finished, I go around the fake wound and make some bruising to the fake Elmer's glue as effects wound. Now I'm taking my red paint and add dark red to the inside of the edges of the wound. This will give the Elmer's glue as effects wound a deeper look. Then fill in the rest with a light red as effects paint. When I have the look I want, it's time for the blood. Using the scab blood, I add it to the wound to make it look even more roughed up. Play around with it until you get the look you like. This Elmer's glue fake as effects wound is a great latex free Halloween makeup tutorial for anyone. Now add drippy fake blood to your Elmer's glue as effects wound. Make it as bloody as you want. You can never go wrong with too much blood. When you have the look you want, then you have finished your SFX wound using Elmer's glue. I hope you enjoyed this SFX tutorial and have a good night.